Describe for me what you think the flight home for the Colts was like last night from Dallas. Man, t- tough. Like, I don't know. Sometimes after you lose in the NFL, like, there's some losses where you shouldn't even smile on the plane. You know, like, guys guys will move. We move on differently, right? Because mm-hmm. we actually got our asses kicked on the field, so we don't have to mope. We, we don't have a choice. We have a week. We have a week before the next game. So, like, a lot of times guys will be watching a movie or kind of talking on the way home and that sort of thing and trying to get their mind off the loss. But that's not one that I think anybody on that plane ride is, is uh, – taken lightly and um you know to give up that many points in the fourth quarter it, it was just like an avalanche man and you can make it about the colts i i don't know i did anybody believe they were going to get back in this thing i mean they still could get back in this thing um they're kind of where they started they're they're a team that should be better than they are and and they found a way to lose some games i mean they found a way to lose the pittsburgh game last week they got their butts kicked in the fourth quarter actually end up in victory formation. So I think it's way more about the Cowboys and, like, that defense, th- them, them forcing turnovers, C.D. Lamb, his play, getting Pollard. Like, everything's coming together for them to where whether or not you think this is going to be a big deal, Odell Beckham Jr. is going to visit. Um, yeah, it's like this team's really rounding into form. If it weren't the fact that I just don't trust the Cowboys, I would think they're, you know, they're scary, scary. Well, the uh, Eagles and the is, Eagles just punked the the Titans, though, Chris. I mean, the, the Titans, as you know, the tighten up mentality is real, uh, not just from their coach, yeah. but from their running back and everything else. Uh, the Eagles just just absolutely blew them away. They they eviscerated the Titans. It wasn't even close that game. Period. So I thought the I thought the Eagles, Rich, had their most impressive win yesterday. And like, I know people would say, well, they had a million penalties. I think they had eight offensive penalties in the in the first half. They had two touchdown drives where they overcame more than two penalties in the first half. I think they had another one in the second half. Um, and Josh Sweat jumped off sides. That led to points for Tennessee. And that's all in the first half. So they were sloppy as hell, right? Um, and they still ran these guys out of the gym. So, like, you know, you want to see a team win clean and that sort of thing. But the fact that they, they came out sloppy, they beat a really good football team, that doesn't get blown out often unless you're talking about, like, playing the Bills earlier this season. They find a way to stay in every game. They they met. You know, they get Jordan Davis back, so they can run their odd front. And they really stood up against the run against Derrick Henry in the run game a lot. A lot of the same way they did, did against Jonathan Taylor. Because this team defensively, if I have one complaint, they haven't stopped the run at times. Like Damian Pierce got after them. The Green Bay had them leaky. The fact that they were able to 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 meet that challenge yesterday, and the D line hit hit Tannehill nine times. Mm. I mean, they were dominant up front. They're just a scary team. This was the this was the Sunday where I was like, okay, the Eagles are absolutely the best team in the league right now. And um, and AJ Brown is. I mean, it should be like a cheat code. The, the Mike Rabel and Tennessee they should be like persona non grata for the rest of the league because AJ Brown shouldn't be there. He should not be there. He had more receptions, more yards than than, uh, than any you know the, all the titans wide receivers jalen hurts and him outside the numbers man jalen hurts is a deep ball thrower outside the numbers it's just gorgeous the balls that he's putting on age on aj brown and aj brown's good enough to make him look as good as he is so i just love i love watching this team play right now catch the rich eisen show every single day on the roku channel 12 to 3 eastern for free 